Are you here for this effect? I have named it Ghost Thread because that is the first thing that came to my mind after making it. And also you can make it by following this really easy tutorial which will be hard. Starting of course by deleting everything. Step 1. Making an amateur. So we will use a plane and I will bring in GeoNode editor and create a new one. First we will get points which is particles on our plane using distribute points on faces which we will convert to trails or threads later. These points are not moving. I know that to make them move, we will use a simulation zone and then add join geometry and set position and connect them all in this way. Now we have to set Z value to 0 0.05 and boom. Now it looks like someone is pooping from multiple places. At one node, we'll fix it all. So just connect a scene time to the seed of the distribute point on faces and all the poops are stopped. Logically, set position is moving them all by minus 0.05 meter on every frame and seed here is changing their spawn position every frame. So it looks like an emitter. Step 2. Adding wind noise to the particles. For this, you will have to create a looping setup using store name attribute and name attribute. Enter a name called V which is for velocity and same copy it to the named attribute. Change the type to vector and same for the named attribute. Now we'll connect the set position and connect our named attribute to the offset because offset will be our velocity. Now duplicate this named attribute and connect it back to the value. To understand what's really happening, let's put in our add vector mad node here. Now change the z value to minus 0.05. So at the first frame it is at minus 0.01 and second frame it moved by 0.02 and at the third frame it moved by minus 0.03 from the previous frame thus giving us the gravity effect. This same system will help us add wind noise as well. So let's frame this part our initial velocity. Now take noise gesture, position and vector rotate. Connecting vector rotate in between initial velocity and store name attribute and also set it to Euler. Finally, to get noise, we use noise texture, connect to rotation and set scale to 1. Uncheck normalize and connect position to its vector. And finally, we get the noise effect, which is really noise. Step 3. Directing particles toward a particular target. To move them towards a target, first we will need a target, which will be our Suzanne. Now we need a mix, geo proximity and vector math node, position node, and finally bringing in our Suzanne into the scene and setting it to relative. Now using geometry proximity, we can get distance between our Suzanne and our particles. If we connect in this way, and then using mix, we get from the geometry proximity and blend with the with their current velocity to make them guide towards Suzanne. But it's not working due to the reason that we have to get distance from local coordinates. So we will do this. So what we will do is we will convert it to local and then again back to the global. And in between, we will get the value we want. And make sure you set the mix to the vector because that will only work that way. Now let's see the result and we have to optimize and it looks really crazy. So to optimize it by changing mix factor value to 0.03 and velocity will change it to minus 0.001 and duplicate this well add note and change it to scale so we can reduce the effect of the velocity so it doesn't go crazy. So if you set it to 0.7 that should do it. The wind is quite strong so i will use another vector math node here which will be set to scale and reduce the effect of the noise texture as well so we get the better result next beautiful step which is step four which is to convert these particles to trails this is quite easy we will just take another simulation zone use the joint geometry and connect our previous simulation to it and now we can use trails made by our particles now we want to set their length so that they are not infinite. For that, we will use the delete geometry node. We will provide it a selection that delete points which has existed for about 30 frames, which will be the edge for them. So we will use a store named attribute type th and setting same on our named attribute, connecting it 
to the value and between we will use add math node and set the value to 1. So it enters one value every frame making it the age for it and then using named attribute and connect it to our greater than setting value to 30 because we will tell after if the value is greater than 30 you can delete that particular geometry connecting to the selection of our delete geometry node it will delete it and we should be good with this result but after reaching the mesh trails are not disappearing we can solve that too for that we will add a similar age system to our previous simulation zone make sure to remove the t from the edge and set value to whatever max you would like and we are set not yet bitches step 5 converting trails to curves slash mesh so we will use a node called points to curve and things can be that easy right because we get these glitchy noodles to fix let's hack back to the start first we need to set individual id for each particles using set id node and connect random value and enter the maximum value to 99999 as much as you can because there are going to be many trails so now each particle have a unique id let's store this data as id so we can use it later now if you look at the trails of particles they all share same id because of the second simulation which is emitting from a single point giving all its id now if we go back to a points to curve and use this id attribute to curve group id we will get curves only on points having same id and voila for converting these curves to mesh we will use curve to mesh and for the profile curve we will create using two curve line and joining them with join geo to give it depth on x set start of x to minus 2 meter and end of the x to 2 meter we will repeat the same for the other one but for the y axis and we get these ribbons we did this because if we apply textures on it it will be visible from all directions but if we play we have problem these message are dancing like a drunk to fix this we will set comb normal putting it before our curves to mesh and we can just set it to free or you can use this to get better result step 6 making them follow the mesh first of all we'll apply a subdivision subsurface modifier on it now i will use a plane and will tell blender to keep the faces of the suzanne around this plane only and delete the rest of them for that we will use delete geometry node on our Suzanne and geometry node. For selection, we will bring in our plane, connect it to its geo proximity, and lastly, use the map range and adjust the settings and connect to the selection to delete geometry, which are the faces. Now you just have to tweak a little more to get the faces around the plane so the trails should come towards the visible mesh only. Good. So let's just keyframe our plane at zero frame, setting it to the bottom, and then go to the 400th frame and move it to the top. And finally, we get this kind of stuff. Step 7. Texturing the trails. Before we head over to the shader editor, you would need to store some data. That is the x, y, and z length of these ribbons. So x we will get from the curve line with the x value. So connecting it to a store named attribute take factor from a spline parameter and setting name to the x. Same way, we'll do it for the Y as well and set name to Y. For our Z length, we will just go after the points to curve where we get these long curves and use a store named attribute again, connect length from the spline parameter which will give us the Z length. To set material on them, first let's assign the trail a new material in the material panel. Then use a set shader at last and select that material which is named as ghost threads. Let's add an attribute node in shader and enter x, y, and z accordingly. Now on x, I will use a color ramp to soft it out on the x direction and do the same on the y. Now we'll combine them using an add math. To get a better visual, let's get transparent and emission BSDF. Connect them using a mix shader and connect our addition of the gradient into the factor of the mix shader. Also head to the material panel and set blend mode to alpha blend. Now it looks Better. Also, let's change the color to black. Now, to make them look like literal trails using the Z attribute, let's first visualize it. We connect a map range and invert the black part 
to last by switching our to min and to max number because the black part will fade away. Now we will join it with our x and y gradient using multiply math node and we get this beautiful result. Also trails are way behind so I will just move the keyframe from start at 60th frame so that they can catch up. Don't worry if it's not 100% accurate. Before we go ahead, the real secret to my texture is only available in my plan file which is on my convert page. Link is in the description of course. Scene 8 which is revealing our Suzanne with these ghost threads. For that we'll take another Suzanne and we can hide the previous Suzanne of course. There's no need for that one. Just like the threads, we will use emission and transparent PSDF connecting to mix shader to get the masking option using factor. Also make sure you check again the alpha blend on the blend mode, then only can be visible properly. For the mask, let's use a color wrap and set it to something like this. Now we want this gradient to be set properly using a texture coordinate and using object. And selecting the same plane that affects the deleting of our previous Suzanne. So that gradient moves with it. Finally, to adjust it, use a mapping to get exactly the result where the ghost threads meet our mesh. Now to make its edges something noisy, we will use a noise texture with mapping and texture coordinate set to generated. If you use my setting, you will get the same result. And finally, we connect the gradient and the noise with the math node and set to greater than. Let's take a look at it. It looks awesome. Finally, if you want some kind of texture on it, you can use another mix shader and combine the new texture in it with the same mask to get this. You can take a screenshot of my texture or you can grab the whole plan file from my camera page because every secret is not in this tutorial. With this, we are finished. At the end, we see that the course threads are still coming. What you can do is just keyframe the density and make it zero. So there will be no threads later. And you can tweak around with the Geo node and experiment with the shader to get something unique results of yours. You can share your unique result if, with me if you want to. My Insta ID is in the description. Thanks for watching this tutorial. Maybe I don't know if anybody reached till here. Thanks if you are hearing this. So see you in the next one.